This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So t- chat me up about, you said a minute ago when I was paying my expenses, you know, the rental cars and the hotels and all that, you sort of indicated you paid cash for everything. I mean, you mean you wrote a check. You're not just walking around with a wad of thousands of dollars in your pocket, right? No, no. Um, um, I want to say I just took enough for whatever that loop I thought was going to be. Now, remember when you got in a rent a car in those days, because all your expenses came out of your plane ticket was paid for. Now you could either get a cab to the building and back to the hotel afterwards, or you could rent a car. We were renting that car and there was four guys say, I'm the one that rented it. Let's just say, or usually I tried to get somebody else to rent it so that I could just give them cash and I could very easily keep up with what I gave them. Okay. My, my, my part of the rent a car was 18 bucks. There was usually three of us in a hotel room. We were usually healing a room. We talked about what that is, what healing a room is. That means yeah. you get two double beds. One guy pulls the mattress off, have a coin flip. Whoever gets the worst part of the fo- the coin flip has to sleep on the box springs. The other guy gets a full bed. The other guy gets a, the mattress on the floor. So every way possible, Plus, if you were in Charlotte riding in a guy's personal car, you pay transportation, five cents a mile. On some days, would you have rather just slept in the damn car than sleeping on the box springs? Hell no. <laughs> Sleep in the car? Are you kidding me? But the box spring, golly, that doesn't sound comfortable at all. Yeah, it, it was. It was the shits, but you got to also remember we would, uh, you had to be smart. You know, we were tired from traveling. You worked your ass off in the ring that night. If you drank five or six beers really uh, quick, it didn't matter. Really quick, you could probably get down, get your head down on that box spring and make it happen. I tried to win the coin flip most of the time. <laughs> Not to say I had a two headed coin or anything. Like I was going to say, you would think a slick willy like you'd have a two headed coin in one of them pockets. I was not digging the box springs. No, nobody was. You're going to be uh, doing TV again in these WTBS studios on May, uh, in May of 85, May uh, 4th. In fact, uh, Ole and Arn going to be getting a win over Gerald Finley and Richard die. Uh, later that night, you're in Cincinnati, Ohio. It's the main event. Manny Fernandez and Thunderbolt Patterson are going to beat you and Ole. Uh, and it's interesting to note that the very next day was the parade of champions over in world-class you're not on the show, but this is a time where Ric Flair is still making appearances as the NWA world champion. And he's going to go to a double count out with Kevin Von Erich. This is May 5th, 1985, 26,153 fans. When you're sort of in the race car, as we like to say, making towns, do you even hear about a big show like this? Or is it all just, you know, through the game of wrestler telephone? No, you would hear about it through like the event coordinator. You know, they would get the word. Those guys would communicate. Hey, did you hear what Dallas did last night? Da, 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 da. And uh, it was mostly you would hear about it through those guys. Now, sometimes you had friends that were in other territories and you'd have the WIVE network if they were friends, Mm. you know, because they're on the phone talking while we're on the road. You know, they got to they got to have a life obviously. And, uh, you would hear about it. The guys would call home and they go, Hey man, we had a hell of a house tonight. Da, 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 da. Because in those days you would get excited about being positioned right on a big house. Cause remember those payoffs were a direct, uh, there's a correlation with, with what is going on at the gate correlation. Bang Bingo. Uh, where you had a hell of a house and you were in, in a money slot and you had a big payday coming and you could anticipate it. Most times it would happen exactly like you thought. Uh, and it was something to get excited about. That's what generated 
you going out and doing the extra things and working with a pulled groin and, or getting your nose splattered on your face and, and continuing to work or a couple of teeth knocked out or a concussion and you're trying to get through the match. Because, buddy, when that, when that match had a direct correlation to, say, the next show, it jumped 10 or 15 grand. Right. Showed up in your paycheck. And that's, that's what it's all about. Whatever you earn, that's what you make. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.